Hey guys, so for this video I wanted to show you how to 3D print Revit models. So in the past I've struggled with getting a good model to print and I finally think I've gotten to the point where I can share my process because now it actually works. Definitely stick around if you want to see how you can do it yourself. Uh, I've included timestamps below if you want to skip around. But yeah, let's get into it. So the first step is opening up Revit. Depending on which version of Revit you have, you might have an additional step. I strongly suggest opening all your models in 2021 or Revit 2022 because they have a new feature that you, when you go to file, export, it has STL as a format now. Anything earlier than 2021 didn't have that feature. So if you have those, if you have an older version and you can upgrade, I highly suggest doing that. Otherwise you're gonna be using third party add-ins and having to do subscription plans with third parties and I don't suggest that. I tried it and it, it's just messier. So the next step is exporting the STL file. So you really have to ask yourself what you're trying to print from your model. Are you trying to print a floor plan? Are you trying to print the exterior of the building? Or are you trying to print like a certain section of the building? Because depending on what you want to print, it's going to affect how you export it in Revit. So my personal preference is to select everything on a floor plan, type in the shortcut BX, which will create a section box in the 3D view. All right, so as you can see, I have the architectural Revit model overlaid my structural model. For this video, I wanna print the architectural model and only the exterior. So the entire building, only the exterior. I don't wanna print any of the interior walls, floors, because that's just gonna complicate the model in the next step. So what I'm gonna do is expand the section box so that I have everything that I wanna print. Okay, so I think I have everything I want in the section box right now. So I'm gonna actually hide my structural model in the 3D view. And while working on this project, I realized there's some things I need to fix or that, that are missing in the model. So we'll get to that. So at this point, since I'm working with a Revit link, I'm gonna go to the visual graphics to the link and try to turn off as much as possible. Because like I said, I just wanna print the walls. I just wanna print the roof. Yeah, I'm gonna do a select all, hide everything and just include the things I wanna print. Okay, so once you have everything in your 3D view that you wanna print, you can go to file. You can only export STL files from Revit 2022, but it turns out in Revit 2021 and maybe later versions, if you go to file, export, and export the FBX, save 3D view as an FBX file, uh, you can open that FBX file in a 3D modeling software. So I think I'm just gonna do that. So instead of the exporting an STL file, we're gonna be exporting an FBX file. So the next step is to clean up the 3D model. So you can use whichever 3D modeling software you're comfortable with, but the software I'm comfortable with is Blender. So it's free if you wanna try it out yourself. If you wanna skip this step, that's totally understandable. You can try to open up the STL or FBX file in whichever printing software you're using but it might not work because when you try to do that, the model will come up with a bunch of errors saying it's not clean or it's not uh, a whole mesh. There's a bunch of holes in it. So that's why I wanna include this step. The remainder of this step is just gonna be me cleaning up the model in Blender. I'm gonna open up the model. I'm gonna to go to import and right here it says FBX and it has STL right above it. So right here I have L-shaped hotel is what I called it. So here you can see everything that we exported. Okay, so now that I've exported the model from Blender, I'm opening it in Fusion 360. So the reason I'm swapping between programs is because although I can edit things pretty easily in Blender, I have a harder time doing that in Fusion 360. For some reason, Fusion 360's fixing tool works really well. Like it works all the time. So now that I have the model open in Fusion 360, uh, I have to save the model first, but uh, Fusion 360 is also free, so no worries there. So I've imported the model, and right here you can just go under bodies and it'll show our mesh body. So once we're there, let's go to mesh, 
and right here you have repair so if we do that uh, it'll give us options over here as to how we want it to be fixed so I personally think wrap will work best it says makes the same changes as stitch and also wraps the surface of the mesh body all inner structures are destroyed that's what I want so wrap and then press ok so that's the whole point as to why I was trying to fill the structure with weird bodies so yeah hopefully this will just make a nice exterior mesh so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save this call it L Hotel clean that way I know that I've cleaned the model using Fusion 360 when I export I want to export it as an STL file that because for some reason that's what most 3d printing softwares recognize I don't know if they recognize FBX so either way you might end up having to use either blender or fusion 360 to convert it from FBX to STL if it was an STL already so I'm gonna save it on my desktop because this is just a test print so that leads us to the next and final step printing so right now I'm gonna open up my 3d printing software that my printer uses uh, it's called lychee slicer and like a, this is a 3d resin printer software so I'm gonna have to do a bunch of other stuff I hate that I have to add support and have to like orient the print in a certain way so I highly recommend just you doing a filament printer rather than using a resin printer this software sometimes notifies you whether or not there's a hole in your mesh and it'll let you repair it here sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't so I'm gonna scale it down so that you can so it'll fit in the printing bed boom there you go all right so it works so the fact that we were able to open up this 3d model in the printer software and not have any problems means you can print it so hopefully this video helped you in printing your Revit models uh, it's a work in progress so if you have any questions or comments as to how you might improve it or if you've come across a better way of doing a step please let me know because I'm trying to also learn how to make it better <laughs> uh, but yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one